welcome to my channel Josie here and this is it is Josie I'm glad to have you back again and if you're here and it's your first time watching my video you're more than welcome feel at home like the video and probably subscribe before you leave and if you're joining me here from the current so little times YouTube you're more than welcome thank you very much for coming and probably you can also feel at home on this channel by subscribing and joining the family and this is my YouTube cha channel where I document my sewing adventures, whatever I'm up to, fabric hauls, sew alongs, pattern reviews, sewing makes, where I document mostly sewing related content here and there as it comes up. And today's video is a collaboration with Karen from So Little Time and we are reviewing the we are having a pattern review of the Nina Lee Camden Pinafore and skirt pattern however this time around we decided to opt for the skirt and we decided to come up with this collaboration because over the time i've realized that karen and i seem to sew the same exact patterns and we thought it would be nice to come up with a collaboration of patterns to choose a pattern that we probably have been wanting to make if you've been to my channel you probably have noticed that i once made up the camden camden pinafore i'll add a card up here or here and the way I got along with making that, I had a full pattern review of the Camden Pinafore, which I made a few months ago. However, I hadn't gotten around to making the skirt, but I planned and got fabric for the skirt. However, when an opportunity came up, I was like, this would be the perfect time to sew up the skirt. And Karen and I realized that we have different body shapes, that if we come together, review a basic pattern, it's quite easy it's recommended for beginners of a skirt that can be worn all throughout the year that's my policy if i'm going to sew up something i try to sew up something that i know i can wear in the, both in the colder months and the warmer months so i get more value from my clothes that i spend hours and time making so this time around we decided to make a skirt and also if you've been on my channel long enough you know that i'm on a plan this year I have goals to sew up more separate in the past I've made many dresses many many jumpsuits and pinafores definitely have been my favorite I'll, maybe before I go on I would like to apologize if there's background noise there's a bit of a storm that's been around for a few days so there's a wind raging outside so it's quite loud hope it's not interrupting this video okay let's get on going so this time round it's a basic skirt and we thought we would review it how what we found making the skirt which four alterations we made and probably that will help you make an informed decision before you decide to make this pattern and probably you might try to pattern it up with how we would dress it up in the colder months and also the warmer months and probably that will give you a better a better idea of how you can wear it but still i would recommend the pinna for two it came together pretty well so making the skirt was much easier because i had the pattern pieces cut out already however and i estimated the kind the alterations i would have had i uh, had to make moving from having made the pinnacle to making a skirt right now okay let's go on with that that's a lot of rumbling but let's go on and we talk about this pattern this pattern is an airline skirt which is meant to be a mini skirt however they give an allowance for i think about two or one and a half inches for some added length to the skirt or to the pinafore and i know myself so well my female bone is quite a longer one so i end up lengthening most of the patterns i have to sew up I have a short torso, my upper part is quite short, so the length is mostly in the femur area. So I end up lengthening them up and also for a bit of modesty, I don't wear overly short dresses. So this time round, I made a few alterations and also the skirt comes up with patched pockets. Then I think I'll show you what it all entails. The skirt is meant to be, or probably about the pattern. The pattern is made for sizes 6 to 20 and however Nina Lee is trying to widen the size ranges of all most of our patterns but I don't think this particular Camden pinup has been increased to a larger size because I think they're updating the sizing 
doing a 16 to 24 28 if i'm not mistaken in all the other patterns that she stocks but this particular one is still in just those few sizes that's 6 to 20 and it's recommended for medium weight fabrics the likes of the needle cord corduroys denims and i made the the pinup I made, I made it out of a needle cord, which came out right. And if you're making the pinup, it's supposed to be fully lined. So the skirt was also a lined skirt. And it also features an invisible zipper. I tried to make it invisible, if you can agree with me. Oh, I made it out of this cord fabric. It quite has big whales. Needle cord fabric in olive color. But unfortunately, the camera is not picking up the color so well. It look, comes off a bit gray in the camera. But this is a skirt I made. I'm so excited with how everything had come up. However, in the past, when I made the pinafore, I'd lengthened it by two and a half inches. And I kept that same sizing when I was cutting up the skirt patterns. But then I realized with the skirt, where the skirt sits on your body, compared to pinup, pinnacle, some alterations have to be changed. So I've ended up actually cutting off the length I'd added onto this pinup for the two and a half inches. Then after I'd cut it off, realized it was somewhat short. So I made an alteration by using bias binding for the hem. So with that, I didn't have to fold off a full... I didn't need to fold off a full one inch so I only used the seam allowance then I used the bias binding unfortunately I hadn't gotten a good lining by the time I made this it's not as bright as it's coming off of the camera it's a bit darker but it's not the most inspiring lining but I bet you can agree that the bias binding is cuter than the lining at least there's something cute and also something exciting these are the patched pockets this is how it comes off and these are the patched pockets the pattern offers and definitely you go a bit extra by brightening up the patch pockets with some brilliant fabric and this is some fabric i remained with after making the canopy dress by Ninali patterns which I also made in the past if you're interested I will leave the pattern review over here but this is the I used the cotton which I remained with to color up the pockets so to this is the skirt and this is how it came together so it falls above my knees and also another alteration i was actually impressed with how the how the invisible zipper came along i was it's not my favorite thing to do because i've always had the invisible zipper foot i've tried it a few times and it has disappointed me still those many times but for the first time yesterday when i was sewing it on it came through super smooth without any eating into the zipper foot and I was chuffed with myself. I was actually excited. And the top comes with it. It's recommended to use a, what do they call them? Hook and eye. Yes, it has a hook and eye to keep it in. Probably everything should have come together. And probably another thing you get to see the lining is tucked in. So there's no need of finishing up the seams because no seams will be exposed. No seams are exposed in the skirt, if you can see from this. So my overlock I broke down last week. I've not yet had time to look at it. But it helped me that I didn't need to finish any seams since the lining, the raw edges were all covered, the concealed inside. And so are the skirt bodies. So you can sew it all off from your, wash, from your machine without an overlocker. And over here, you're supposed to, you're meant to sew in the ditch if you're going to attach the waistband, the back waistband, to attach it at the bottom, sew in the ditch and catch the, the, the band here, the back of the band, but I knew that was more risky. So I went down this road by attaching another piece of bias binding, which made it actually more colorful. I know the inside doesn't look as cute as the outside, probably the bias binding helps cover up this the very less attractive lining but the lining actually is darker than it appears there the camera is not doing it justice but this is the skirt this is a completed skirt and a few other alterations are made this band is cut out as a single piece however when i tried it on i realized it was gaping on the top not because it was wide but because it, the bottom part of the band was fitting perfectly right, so I knew I needed to temper in the waistband 
if you've got quite a narrow waist compared to the rest of your body so it would have instantly have fitted but gaping on the top so i had to go in and do a lot of engineering for a moment i felt like an engineer because i didn't want to take temper it in through the seam allowance so i opened it up allowed for the seam allowance so i didn't taper in the part that goes underneath the seam allowance because it would have been hard to fit it over because i was doing all that from the back band so i took it in cut it up estimated how much i needed to take in so i blended in the size into the where the band meets the skirt the skirt piece so i created a seam which wasn't there in the beginning and also after creating the seam i had to make sure that it fits in smoothly without now leaving a bulge here so i created definitely two seams on the sides to get it fitting much better so i'm so happy with it right now it fits much better and the other alteration i made yeah because i did that i'd made it previous in the dress and with the dress we all know it doesn't need to fit really so well on the skirt and because i'd cut size eight i thought that was perfect but i found that i needed to take in a bit more on the side seam so with the amount i took out at the side seam i guess i would have been okay with tracing of size six altogether because i had to take in the side seams on both sides so with the size eight and the amount i took in probably the size six would have been perfect so probably to figure out the best fit for your for this pattern should you get it it would be nice to try and first sew up the skirt not the reverse that i did because Karen's plan is to first sew up the skirt before she makes a pinafore. Probably that will be perfect for her for fitting. Now with me, I was under the impression that since I've made this dress before, it should be a walkthrough. But I instead, I came across so many fitting issue around, issues around the waistline. And now it falls on the hips. So if you still in, if you are interested in making both the skirt and the, and the pinafore, I would advise that you start off with the skirt, figure out all the fitting spares parts about it then when you're ready to make the pinafore you're just fitting the bodice because it can the bodice comes up with princess seams that you need to fit in right so we shouldn't be hard but yeah that's my advice that if you intend to make both you start with a skirt before you go down to the pinafore but all in all i love the final outcome let me see if i can attach a few pictures of how i would pair it up for cold months and warm months probably we can have an idea of what to expect with this beautiful skirt thank you very much for watching and if you've been here and you've enjoyed this video I'm going to attach a link at the bottom to current youtube channel that's current from so little time so you if you've not yet watched her video i would like to request you to go watch her video on the review of the nina lee camden skirt and if you're here from Karen's channel, thanks for coming. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, it would make me glad if you could subscribe and join the family. And also, if you've liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.